Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy KID, aka True Kid, whatever y'all prefer to call me. I'm here with a tutorial today because I want to help you guys, man. You know what I'm saying? I know I've gotten a couple of people wondering how, you know what I'm saying, I got my 2K player True Kid into GTA 5. Well, no worries, man. I'm here to help you all do that. You know what I'm saying? For your own creative players or custom cyber faces that you want to put into GTA, man. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing, you know what I'm saying, you want to do for this process is gather your resources, which is a few programs, nothing too uh, difficult. So we just need a couple of programs. For one, you'll need a program by the name Blender. You know what I'm saying? No worries. I'll provide the links to all of these down in the description. You know what I'm saying? To make it easier for you guys. You're going to need something called Face Builder by the developers Keen Tools. So I'm going to leave that in the description as well. You know what I'm saying? No worries. But comment if you have any questions. Next thing you're going to need is a program called Uranium. And then the last thing you're going to need is something called Open 4. So if you all have modded GTA 5 or if you've heard of it, you know what I'm saying, you're familiar with Open 4 and how it works. But I'll answer any questions down in the comments to help you all out because that's what we're here for, man. We're going to stay true. You know what I'm saying? The way that I discover how to make this is by following a tutorial from a guy by the name of Zane Burko. And I'm going to leave a link to his video tutorial down in the description for you all. I used the face builder under a trial version and I didn't really realize it. And when I tried to go back in, I got a message saying that the trial version expired to go buy it now. But the only thing is the program is quite a little bit expensive so I'm not going to be getting that just yet so if you need help on uh, the face builder method in detail I will leave you know what I'm saying like I said the link to Zane Burko's video first thing you want to do is gather reference images so reference images are just you know what I'm saying like profiles of your player so you go into 2k and this is pretty easy any way you can get it, any method you can get a screenshot you know what I'm saying works go ahead take a front profile pic you know what I'm saying get a side profile pic one of each sides and the back of the head works as well and there's no limit to how many pictures you can gather but it usually just works with you know what I'm saying a good four to six you know what I'm saying? The more you have, the longer it might take, but it'll get you more accurate results. So, hey, go for it. After gathering your reference images, the next thing you want to do is model the head. Now, this is the part that I can't show because the program won't let me show you all in Blender. I will try my best to explain this to you all. Do you already gathered your reference images? The next thing that you want to do is now go to face builder on the toolbar click on where you see add images and after you click on add images select the folder or wherever your screenshots from 2k have been saved bring them in by clicking on open images so you click on the little the eyeball icon that says pin mode after you click on that, you will get a face that you can actually change the sizing and position of to match your player's reference image. So, you know what I'm saying? You want to drag the dots. This is the part where I can't actually show you because the program won't let me. Um, I would suggest following Zane Burgo's tutorial for better accuracy. So after you get the pins placed, you then want to go to the texture drop down and click on create texture. 
click OK when you hit create texture and it'll wrap the face based on the screenshots. So now you'll have something that looks a little more recognizable that you can work with and you will have to do a few more tweaks. So I would suggest going to texture paint mode like Zane Burko did in his video and basically you know what I'm saying use a couple of the tools clone tool blur tool basically to fill in any dark spots so you'll get these little dark spots where the scan didn't wrap fully around the head model but you can actually clean this up it'll take a little bit of time but I mean it's worth it if you really want to get your player into GTA 5 now what you want to do is export your head as a 3d model so you want to export to get three different files an mtl file an obj file and the actual texture file in order to bring the 3d model into uranium all you got to do is go up to the menu go to file and export wavefront obj oh and also you have to save your texture image so in order to do that it's very simple you go into the uv editor click on your texture image go over to image and save as the next thing you want to do is prepare it to be imported into gta 5 through uranium you open up uranium and you have to sign up nothing nothing major you just create a quick account go to add new scan so you will need the mtl file the obj file and then the textured image that you exported once you get it into uranium and then if you loaded it up correctly the head should appear as it did in blender pretty simple all you really have to do is just match up the head to the body adjust the position of the eyes that you want to match up into the game of gta which is pretty straightforward pretty simple then you want to adjust colorimetry which is the skin tone make it match up to the body of the player and head size and things like that proportions to the body pretty straightforward this is up to you how you want to do it there's no right or wrong way my character in gta 5 in my opinion is not perfect but i'm okay with it because it took a while to make and it came out something so i'm, I'm you know what i'm saying not tripping Then you want to choose which character you want your player to replace in the story mode. You choose between Trevor, Michael, or Franklin, whoever you want. It doesn't matter. Your preference. After you choose that, you're basically ready to import your model into GTA 5. Now all you have to do is just click on install, which could take up to a few minutes. So just give it a little time. So this is where you want to go to the program open for you basically open up open for let it load up. You know what I'm saying you want to go to your mods folder. So in your mods folder it should be an update x64 DLC packs patch day 5 ng. DLC X64 a folder called uranium player one and then extract another folder by the name of player one Going to go to a folder by the name of x64v.rpf and you can find this folder 
in the GTA 5 directory. After you find x64v.rpf, you then want to go to models, CD images, stream peds underscore players, and then player one will be replaced by the player one that we just extracted. So in order to do this, all you have to do is go to your desktop or wherever you saved it and just drag right into open four into this folder. If yours is not working, make sure you have edit mode turned on by going up and clicking on edit mode. After that's done, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's all the steps to get your player into GTA 5. I'm going to just show y'all a quick preview to show y'all that it does work. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if this helped you, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and make sure if you if you want to make another tutorial, it would be nice if you could leave me a little shout out, you know what I'm saying, or a link to this tutorial. I appreciate y'all, man. Peace. I'm out. Thank you.